1999 Mercedes E240 limousine in white. See that there? Film this one outside because it's a little bit too big for our photo studio. Comes with the private registration. As you can tell, it has been used for wedding hire, this one. And it is in white. At some point in its life, it's hard to tell, but on the bonnet there, it does look like it was as you right blue, I think, at some point, but it's all been changed on the mock and things like that. I say, it does come with the registration. Body wise, I'll we'll start off the bonnet, all nice and straight on the bonnet, lovely and shiny, lovely and white. Headlights are nice and clear on the right hand side, as they are on the left hand side, all nice and tidy across the grill as well. A few little stone chips here and there on the bonnet, but nothing we need to sort of complain about there. Nice and tidy on the left-hand side bumper corner. A little bit of rust starting underneath that headlight on the left-hand side. A few stone chips across the front edge, but that's all really. Nice and tidy on the right-hand side of the headlights. All nice and clear as we come round. We've got a bit of a mark on the bottom there on the bumper. Chrome marks is all the way around on this one. Nice and tidy down the wing top. You've got the code sign stripe going all the way down the side of this car. We're going to quickly jump up onto the roof so you can have a good look at that again. All nice and tidy, nice and shiny across the roof. Excuse the leaves there, it's a little bit windy. But all nice and tidy across the roof. Back down the lower section, you can see it's got a white stone guard down the whole sill. Bottoms of the doors look okay. And with it being white, you wouldn't notice any rust from quite a, a long way away. But all nice and tidy on the front driver's door being where it caps in good condition. Not done too many miles either, this one. That middle door, again, nice and straight, no heavy scratching around the handles, no rusting on the door tops. As you come down onto the very, very rear door again, no marking around the handle, nice and straight down that whole side. The odd little mark on the lower half section, the odd little stone chip and bit of tar here and there, but not bad at all. Down the chrome arch on the rear, nice and tidy along that quarter, all nice and straight down that whole right hand side. A little bit of rust starting underneath there. At the back there and a little bit of rusty sort of water where the seal has popped off the arch there but apart from that all nice and tidy as we come around the rear rear bumper corner good on the right hand side and again nice and tidy on the left hand side rear light lenses are good on both sides you can sort of see a reflection in the bumper there a little bit of rust starting nice and tidy across the boot lid no rust around the barges or around the handle rear parking sensors as well Nice and straight across the boot lid, no dings or dents across that. Nice and tidy as we come around the left hand rear quarter again. Chrome arches fitted, bit of marking on the rear left hand side door, the very far door, so the third door. A little bit of a mark on the door onto the arch there, and another mark there further down on that door itself. As you come down, we've got a heavier scratch here on the middle door there, and a few little marks at the back of that. Apart from that, all nice and tidy once again. As so we come down onto the front passenger door, you'll see we've got some paint flake on the rub strip itself, it's sort of flake off a little bit. But apart from that, all nice and presentable, all good across the board. Bottoms of the, bottoms of the doors, a few little blebs are starting through, but they haven't broke through the head of the paint, so you can't really tell that they're there. A little bit of a start at the front of the sill and the bottom of the wing on the left hand side, but apart from that, all nice and straight down that whole left hand side. On to the interior now. Grey cloth, this one throughout. Lovely and tied on the door card, no problems at all with the door card there. Lovely and straight, the seat itself showing minimal wear whatsoever to the seat. A little bit of a mark there, but no rips or tears, in lovely condition here. All nice and clean with the grey carpet set. Headlining's lovely throughout the whole car. It's obviously had some money spent on it at some point, this one. Dashboard's lovely and tidy as well, no cracks in that. It's only showing 56,200 miles. Moving straight down the centre console with the aftermarket head unit fitted, you'll see we've got the partition glass here. That does go up and down with no problems at all. On to the middle door on the driver's side again, the door guard itself, all matching all the way around, no issues with the wood, lovely and tidy in here. A lovely big partition there, that's been all re-trimmed nicely, no issues at all with that. Lovely grey carpet set throughout, and once again, minimal wear really to that, th that second row of seats there. There's no rips or tears anywhere on that from the left or the right hand side. Again, that lovely headlining all the way throughout. Onto the very rear seat on the right hand side. Again, the door card unmarked, no rips, no tears, 
no nasty marks smells nice and fresh and clean in here minimal wear once again to the bolsters no rips no tears or snagging at all in the cloth anywhere there in the boots nice and tidy again spare wheels i can see the color that originally was at some point in its life but the boot carpet itself again all nice and tidy very very clean in there as well into the left hand side of here this is a very very rear door ken no marks at all to the door card no grubbiness no wear to the handles really nice and straight you can actually control the um rear partition screen there from the rear seats as well which is nice no rips or tears to the rear seats on the left hand side carpet set again lovely and clean and tidy in there and from the middle side again middle middle row middle door lovely and tidy on the door card no marks at all and no marks at all in the third row seats on the left hand side really really nice and clean and tidy in here good little business for someone that's wet and higher or as a daily driver in fact left hand side front nice and tidy again no rips or tears to the door card itself and the seats are nowhere whatsoever no snagging at that bolster there it's like a brand new car inside of you no problems at all with that dashboard lovely and clean from the left hand side so are the mats and the grey carpet set onto the engine bay now like i say it's a 200 petrol this one all nice and tidy in there no rips no rips or tears what i talked about no uh, nasty marks or all the plastics are there looks to be nice and clean james is going to fire it in the life firing straight into life there no problem whatsoever whatsoever from that there it's a 2.4 petrol engine that no problems at all with that taking over nice and smooth and there you have it the mercedes e240 limousine with the private registration in white gorgeous interior in that one 